I learned of the demise of the small watch industry a few weeks ago. An associate had asked me if I wanted to review this new watch that he'd ordered that he'd gotten from this company in Hong Kong. The company had a typically wacky name that I don't know how to pronounce. Is it Boderi? Boderi? Boderic? I don't know, and I don't care. I'm just going to call the company Gary, as it's the first name of the owner, according to the website. I never heard of Gary. I looked at Gary's website. Aspects of Gary's dials look vaguely familiar to me. Many Qi watches are a mix of elements copied from dials of popular watches. There was nothing earth-shattering about this. What was disturbing to me was that the cases of these Garys were unmistakably a copy of an American watch brand called Bertucci, and they were selling these Bertucci knockoffs dirt cheap. I reviewed a Bertucci GMT last year. I found the watch to be pretty mediocre, though I wasn't put off by the brand and planned to review one of their solar models. I also got my hands on a Gary Voyager, which is currently selling for $132. I'll show you some video footage of it. The Voyager specs really well for its price point. It's fully titanium with a sapphire crystal and has a Japanese Seiko NH35 movement. I didn't size the watch, but I did give it a cursory inspection. I didn't detect any issues with it. It appears to be a really well-made watch that bats way, way above its price point. The Voyager appears to be a huge win for the consumer, but this win will have profoundly negative consequences. This is what I think will happen. Many consumers will discover that they can buy a nylon strap Gary Voyager for $97 with similar specs to this Bertucci that costs $225. Also, they'll realize that for $137, they can buy a Voyager on a titanium bracelet and that Bertucci doesn't offer a bracelet version. I understand that some consumers will buy the Bertucci because the Bertucci uses a quartz movement and the Gary uses an automatic. Let's not nitpick. Many consumers are going to see the huge price discrepancy between these two brands and opt for the radically cheaper Gary. Gary is going to take a huge bite out of Bertucci's market share, and Bertucci will be lucky to still exist within three years. This is not the first time that parasitic watch companies like Gary have copied the intellectual property of a small watch company, but this time the parasites seemed much more prepared and capable. Gary came on the scene with an entire arsenal of Bertucci knockoff watches, and as I've stated, Gary appears to be a very competent watchmaker. Also, Gary didn't have to advertise its brand or appear at the bottom of search queries on AliExpress for years. Gary had a direct channel to God, Bloaty of the Just One More Watch YouTube show. Lodi had his campaign for the Gary Bertucci killers before I think these watches even hit the street. Gary's Bertucci knockoffs are a very grim development for the small watch company industry. These Bertucci killers are very different from, say, a Seiko knockoff. Seiko prices many of its watches out of the reach of the ordinary consumer, and consumers buy the Seiko knockoffs because they can't afford the real McCoy. The same thing happens with luxury watches. Bertucci, unlike Seiko, makes reasonably priced watches. Also, Bertucci, unlike Seiko, was never trying to bleed the consumer. 
Bertucci probably made a significant R&D investment when they started their brand. They're probably still investing in R&D. Why should aspiring watch brands piss away money on R&D to make original watch designs when some unknown Chinese watch outfit can steal their intellectual property and make it cheaper and maybe even better than they could? And also, these intellectual thieves can now market their watch to the masses via God and the YouTube echo chamber of watch influencers that follow in the footsteps of God. We are now living in the post-Gary era, where it's no longer safe to make an honest living as a watchmaker. Why make original designs when you can more cheaply steal someone else's designs? In this new bleak and sad era, there will be fewer players in the watch industry, and these fewer players will be playing it safer and investing way less in their products. The future of independent watchmaking is going to be very boring and very unoriginal. As I've stated, I haven't worn the Gary Voyager, but I do suspect it's a really nice watch. Enjoy your Voyager. Go crazy with it. I'd even buy a Gary over the Bertucci myself, and I'm not even being facetious. When you buy a Gary, Gary is passing on the savings it achieved from stealing its watch design to you. You're beating the system when you buy a Gary. Yeah!